Hello everybody, and welcome to Slime Rancher 2. My name is Slip of Plasboy Gaming, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So for those of you who've never played Slime Rancher, it's really fun, just simple farming, I guess it would just would be, a farming game. We just kind of go around and explore, so I think it's going to be pretty cool. Alright. That's interesting. So you can turn off the tar and feral slimes in this. I think it's kind of weird because they're just so iconic to the game. Because they bring that bit of challenge to a very calm setting and it makes it have a different feeling to it. So I'm not going to turn those off. I think those need to stay on, personally. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. I love this game, guys. I'm letting you know now. Huge fan of it. So I'm going to probably gush over some of the things that, get at, that got added to it. Just fair warning. So, if I'm a little antsy about it, yeah. After a long day of slime ranching, Beatrix LeBeau was enjoying a cool glass of carrot juice as she watched the sunset across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock, with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. Carrot juice, that's such a weird choice. You have explored the far, far range from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrice Lebeau. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you are ready for a new adventure. Beatrice excitedly boarded the boat, and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually, she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, and grasses all in an array of colors that danced and moved along like a dream. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory, overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. And so a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, raided her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. Can't wait for this. This is gonna be so cool. All right, so uh, let's get moving. <laughs> Classic WASD. Not a surprise. What else we got going? Okay, jump and oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I didn't expect to be a linebacker. Jeez, Beatrice. I guess she uh, if she plays football. I don't know. And of course we have the classic, good old vacuum, just suck up the slimes. That sounds weird. It's fine. We're not gonna question those words. All right. So yeah. So if you guys understand or have never seen this game, it's pretty self-explanatory. You kind of just collect slimes and uh, really explore the world and see what's out there. It's really cool. I love it. It's just good to relax to and just all around. It's just a fun game. I love it. So I really hope you guys enjoy it too. Uh, I plan on doing like a full playthrough of this, just there might be some issues because it's in its um, early access, so there are expected issues with it, but it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Let's, uh, I guess we'll go out this way. Why not? The Rainbow Fields. Shifting colors like a dream, fading just as quickly. And carrots, which I don't really think I need to explain what carrots are. They're pretty self explanatory. So, yeah. Where does this go? Okay, that goes back up, I think. And this brings me back, too. Okay. Neat. Tasty food platter. Okay, so we'll go do that, actually. What is this? Okay, that's where my base is. So, is this. Is this the basement? Oh my god, that's so cool. Look at the quality on this. That's just so... That looks like a face. Right? Is that me? That looks like a... That's somebody's face. That is absolutely a face out there. That's weird. But I love that light transition. It's like... God, that's such good quality. Okay. Neat, neat. Piping. Okay, so... Oh, okay. So we have a laboratory. Nice. So if you, again, if you didn't play the game, this might not be, you might not know this is a laboratory. So you basically can make, um, oh, that's really cool. Okay. 
So this used to be separate. This used to be its own um, station. Now they're mixed together, so that's really cool. So you can upgrade your stuff or make gadgets and decorations at the laboratory to put around your ranch and utilize when running around. Like those boots, for example. I think originally you had to craft boots to run. I think that does... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was the case. I think you had to make a set of boots to run around. Do I... We'll throw them all in there right now. Let me just leave some food for that. Neat. Okay. I think it looks good pretty so far. I'm really happy with how it looks, honestly. I just love this game so much. Look at this little dude. Look at him. Whoosh. Whoosh. You just kind of play ping pong. Dude. This was too put. Oh. Oh, okay. Whew. I flung this wow! I should stop flinging. Yeah. Wow. What the? No. Well, okay. Wow. I don't. What? What? Why are there two of you? What is this? That, that is so unfair. So those are rare slimes that disappear after you know. A certain time period, and if you give them food, they give you like a lot more money instead of just a standard ports. So I'm a little salty right now that I didn't get them. I mean, me. Oh my god, look at him! Oh my god, he's a little buddy. It's a little rabbit. Dude. I can't believe this. This is so cool. I love this game. I didn't mean to swear. I'm gonna have to cut that. I love this game though. It's so nice. So cute. Come on. Come on. You're coming home. That, you know what I mean, guys. You, you know what my intentions were in that sentence. So rocking in this. God, I love this game. It's so nice. It's so fun. And it's so cute. What are you? Oh, it's like the... Why is there... Okay. Wow, this drone is so much cooler than... Oh, it's like a firefly. Nice, okay. Accessing GG log. <laughs> well, here we go again. I'm sending the drones out all to their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place, I still remember being in awe of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. I guess in a way it was, because it ended much too soon. God, it really is beautiful. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's so cool. The little icons in the backpack, they actually change. I wonder if I can get into an area that's... Yeah, you can kind of tell. Wow. Man, that's so nice. I love that little detail. Because it used to just be like a color bar that indicated um, which one you were on and how full it was. But now it's like you actually get to see a little icon surrounded by a, like a radial circle. That's so cool. I love that. That is... So Again, guys, you don't know how much I missed this game. This has just been a blast. Okay, um, I'm not gonna do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to give me the reports, and I'm actually gonna rent you is this. So. Again, if you, I, I know some tricks just because I played the old game, and one of the things was actually to, one, I'm going to get rid of them, not to be that guy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove these boys right in here, and then, bang, 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 ta -da. now they're Largos, so what's good about Largos is that if they are fed their favorite food, they produce four ports instead of two, so... Really good for currency. So we're gonna be doing that for now. I personally like doing um six is fine typically in my opinion, that typically gets the job done. But uh, you know, everybody has differences, everybody has their own way of doing this, so be cool or whatever. So we'll actually uh, there we go. Cool. And then this
this is the pool market is where you make your money in this game. It's just pretty much just selling the products you're farming. So, yeah. I'm gonna, before I leave, I'm gonna make these walls higher just because they are so big that they can escape the small crowd pretty easily. So we're gonna do that just to, just to block that off and prevent them from escaping when I'm not here. Starting to get more points as I'm running around. They're not berries, those are pogo fruit. Yeah, it's been a while, guys, so I'm going to turn some lights around. But I remember a lot of the tricks and stuff. What? Okay. Victor! Oh my god! Hello? Hello, Beatrix, do you read me? Testing, testing. Hmm. Perhaps you are lost at sea, taken away by the mysterious boat never to be. Oops, nope, just got thrown this way. Nice to see you again, Beatrix. I have missed you greatly, my dear friend. And while I am quite excited for you to partake in an adventure, I already have data that might complicate things. Last night I received a message from a sort of artificial intelligence program. It's running code, but not one I recognize. I'm in the process of analyzing it. But I am certain that this message was sent from where you are now, in the mysterious Rainbow Island. So to recap, a mysterious boat takes you on a mysterious island and I received a mysterious code from said island. It all seems quite curious. Well, I've got work to do, and you best get exploring. Oh, that was great. Take this home portal. It should make the early stages of your journey easier. Oh, okay. Take care, Beatrix. We'll be in touch. What? What's a home portal? Oh, okay, so gadgets still work the same then. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right. So do I have like a portal already? Jeez, that... Maybe I didn't do that right? Eh, we'll, for we'll figure that out later. Right now, I'm worried about to exploring and checking things out. Uh, I've got some dudes back in our crowd. God, I can't believe that they're bringing... So they are bringing characters back. That's cool. You never got to physically see Victor or any of you guys. At least, I don't remember seeing them. But what's really cool is that you kind of, like, really do change all of them. Oh, it's the Far Far Reach. That's the area in the Far Far Range and on the Far Far Reach. Right. So, you kind of change a lot of people, like, Victor is very practical and, like, he's analytical of everything, like, he's doing data sets to try to figure out the statistics of interacting with somebody, you know, he doesn't really trust not knowing what's going on, and through your help, he learns that it's okay to not know everything. So, it's just, it's nice, like, it shows, like, how your character does more for the world than just exists. So... I don't know, it's just a neat detail. I'm glad they brought characters back because it just made me feel more human and not as empty. So that's a really nice touch of them, like bringing back the characters from the games. Or from the last game. Not the games, just only two. Yeah. Nice, okay. Already found a Gordo. So, for those of you who don't. Look at him! They glow! I mean, they already glue, but. He flies too. Wow, okay, they really changed the slimes up because before phosphorus slimes didn't like fly as high. Like they get some height, but not like that. And they also didn't radiate like they do not. They really are radiant. That's so cool. It, this game is just so nice to play. It's just so relaxing. I love how they changed up like some like things like that too. Like how like no longer just like a dim light, but now it's like they actually glow pretty brightly. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it, guys, okay? Look, I don't want to talk about it. I'm really upset about that, because I lost a lot of food. It's fine. It's not. I'm crying inside. I'm really upset over that. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. 
I lost so much stuff there. That's not even funny. Oh my god, that hurts. Look at you. Look at you guys. Whoa! Yeah, hi. Oh, that is so upsetting. I lost so much stuff there. I can't believe I died that way too. You're passed out, I guess? I don't know what you call this. Game. You're not really dying. You're more just like... We're gonna call it passing out. I'm so upset over that. I had so much stuff. And I just lost it all by being dumb. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so deeply. That was like a, a deep wound in my side. I'm so upset over that. What is this? Upgrade... Oh, I can harvest that. Interesting. Okay. I thought that was just like slime goop. That's how I describe it. Slime goop. Slime. Just slime. I feel like just slime is a better option than slime goop. Can I just jump over here? Oh, I, no. Okay, so I do actually have to <laughs> take care of the Gordo. Oh, God. For those of you who think he's adorable, um, don't get too attached. I'm letting you know now. It's better that you don't. I learned that the hard way. Because he's like Snorlax, but this isn't PG. It is PG. I don't know. We do this to me. You all understand. You all see. Give me this. Thank you. More ports? For me, you shouldn't have. Oh, hey. What is that? I want this. What is that? Water lettuce. I wonder, is that? Oh, that's your favorite. Okay, so we're going with that. Water lettuce. So we'll definitely uh, make use of water lettuce going forward. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so that's how you unlock the maps. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. There is a lot of area to explore here. I think this is more actually than the last game. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so that's something to look forward to. Nice. I think we should have enough. So, uh, let's go take care of the Gordo. There's another one! Okay, we'll come back for him later. Right now we gotta take care of the one down here if I'm in the same area. I think I'm in the same area, right? It's, it's such a weird game to play for the like game, probably because it's so your own pace. You set what's going on, you set the direction. I mean, there's a set of old direction by the game, but at the same time, you have to do it yourself. Man, he's so chunky. Look at this dude. Look at this unit. Alright, I need to do more fruit. I need more fruit. I don't know what I'm going. Even if they just get into one of those beats where you're just kind of like randomly going off and just doing like. Not a scat because you can't scat because you're really not good at scatting. But it's an attempt at a scat and it just turns out very strange. One of those. That's what I was just doing there. Okay. They need food. So I'm going to try to. Uh, make some good money here to do things. How much are the economies worth? 20? 19 now. I can't... I don't think I can do anything yet. How much are... This is a really good thing to get. The port. The port collector. I don't have enough for that. Are they dropping ports? No. They are not. It's fine. It's fine. So what I can do, I think with this, I think I have enough to make a garden, which is really helpful. Yeah. I know. Everybody's gonna yell at me for what I'm about to do. Look, they're hungry. I got it. Let's do this. Cool. Now we can grow some water lettuce for them to eat later on. Got money right now, actually. Yeah. So I'm just trying to. It's weird, there's like an odd amount of multitasking where it's like, it's not like Stardew where your whole day can be wasted on one thing. 
in this you really can spend your day doing uh, multiple things pretty easily in my opinion at least i like stardew stardew is a really fun game it's just it can be hard to multitask and do all the quests in that because you know, your time can be so limited in use that's just me that's just me i could be completely wrong I probably am because i've only played stardew like once and i really enjoyed it i have I, I haven't done a full no i have done three years i've done three years but i haven't done much more than that so I could be wrong, and I will admit I am probably wrong, because <laughs> I'm not the best at some of those games. You know, I'm gonna take these carrots, because now we can actually go try to take care of the other um, Gordo. Do we want to take care of the other Gordo, or do we want to just do one for now? We'll take care of the other Gordo. Give me, give me fruit. Give me fruit. Thank you. Oh, I'm doing. I'm gonna stop. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. Um, is there any more water? Levels? Oh yeah. What? How did? What does Kronk say? It's. Oh my god! I can't remember the line now. You know the meme I'm talking about, where it's like Kronk. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. That is that's Kronk. Is that not Kronk? I don't think that's Kronk now. I might be wrong. I might be referencing the. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I'm not sure now. How much does he need? This chunky dude needs so much that I don't have. Alright, we're gonna check out this area, because I have not been this way yet. I've been left, I have not been right. But, oh! Interesting, okay. Cool. Taking, taking the food. Take all the food. Take everything. I don't need that. Get rid of him. Quickly, before they notice I'm still in all their food. The rabbit ports are... The common ports, not rabbit ports. <laughs> Use the right terminology. You know, the care cotton. I'm not able to say the right word. Why? Why was I built like this? I was just built incorrectly, apparently. But um, yeah. Oh my energy. Huh. I'm really. I keep trying to use the jetpack, and I keep forgetting I don't have the jetpack yet. That is a really good upgrade to get, by the way. Definitely one of the better ones. So I definitely would try to get that on your playthrough. Oh my god, he's right there. He's so close to um I don't wanna call it bursting, but I guess that's the only turn to use is bursting. Unless there's another one. Is there, is there a cleaner term than bursting? I don't think so. I think it's just bursting. Like he's ready to we're gonna stick with bursting for now. For now. Oh, they both are ready to. Holy. Okay. Wow. That was quick, actually. The set, the cotton one, is taking much less time. I'm not complaining. I mean, seriously, it works for my favor. Just definitely want less time. Give me your plots. Give me your plots. Nah. That was a really bad impression. I'm not going to do that again, trust me. Interesting. Why is there a refinery link out here? And another V, or Firefly. Accessing GG log. I w <laughs> my GG, my GG, I'm so curious now. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited. Breathless and sweaty. I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's a little time now, so I'll need these refining links if I'm going to be efficient. This time, I'm going to do it right. Who? Who? Who is this? What is? Oh, it's just a tunnel. I thought that was like a full moon cave. I was like, what am I? Am I entering into here? 
What challenges await me? But it's just, uh, just an entrance to the next area, I guess. Is that the next area? I don't know. Are those tabby? I want to get up to that first. But give me the fruit of my labor. These it's tabbies. Tabby. Oh man, I miss these guys. They're so cool. What was these dudes? There's so many of them. Little cats. Little cats, huh? I love it. Oh, I love this game. It's just so sweet to look at. These little angels are like creatures. Like, they're just so innocent in existence. I, I wish. If this was real, that'd be so cool. Okay. Nice. So you expanded the map out more. Cool. Alright. I think it's time to head back over to the um, Gordos and take care of them. If you know what I mean. Send a prayer. Uh, yeah. It's about to get a little messy. Is it up? It's up there. There it is. I was like, where did he, where did he go? Where am I? I lost track of my location. Because I'm not really paying attention. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So he has a burrow? What? What is this? Oh. Okay. Then what? What? Huh? What did I just do? What? I'm sorry. What? Okay, we're gonna go check that out in a minute. Huh? Okay, we're getting we're getting deep into this game already. I did not I did not expect whatever just happened to happen. Ba ba boom. Look at all the phosphorus slime. So I can bust these. What, what is that? Is this a. It doesn't tell me what it is. It's just. I can bust it open and there are slimes and stuff caught inside of them? Okay. Wait a second. Is that like. Okay, water source. I didn't expect that. Kind of concerned. You really should be concerned. Is this a tabby? What the? Okay, wow. We're I'm I'm in deep in this game. Okay. Well, um, I think it's a pretty good stopping point. Not gonna lie, we did some. We we took care of some gordos, and uh, it resulted in very interesting results. We got a tabby gate. I'm ass I'm assuming that's a tabby gate. Where we're I'm assuming that's a tabby gate. And also, how do I get bounce there? Also, can I get back over there quickly enough? I don't know if I can. I'm trying to break my legs while I do. So we all have to tabby gate. I'm gonna say it again. I'm sorry for being repetitive. And also, activated some very strange thing over there that we'll have to explore. So I think that's a good uh, stopping point. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching, and uh, catch you in the next episode.